Hello? 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 Uh, hold on, for fuck's sake. Hello? Get in. Unfortunately, I cannot enter the property until you unlock the door. Where is that phone? Come in then. Your hour has started. Good morning. I am... I know who you are. You're late. The appointment was at 10.30. It is now 11.19. Why are you almost an hour late? I was here, Mr. Tool. I was at the door. I knocked many times, but you did not answer. You may have been asleep. <sighs> Forget it, then. Are you ready? I don't have long. Certainly, Mr. Tool. Fifty-three minutes, twenty-seven seconds remaining. Yes, yes, hold the hell on. I'm not young, you know. In ninety-three, I'm nine times what you are. So let me tell you when I'm ready. And if you don't mind me saying, you look wonderful this morning. And you can cut that out as well. Making compliments and calling me Mr. Tool. Call me Chris and stop with the sweet talk or else I'll hit you with something hard. Very well. When you're ready. Let's get this over with. That's great. Love to hear it. Ah! Turn the bloody brightness down. My apologies. Better? Yes. All stores have loaded. Would you like me to create a shopping basket for you, Mr. Tool? What do you think? That's fantastic. Unbinning basket. Is that all you did? You just spent several seconds screaming and shaking like a moron, and all you did was load up a smiling shopping basket with my name on it? Ugh, <sighs> unbelievable. Yes, it is a personalized basket for that personal, intimate shopping experience. <sighs> Look, I don't have that much time here. I need to do this one thing with you. Can we just start now? Let's begin. Which of these fantastic online stores would you like to start with? I would recommend starting with the Alpha Meta Market, which has a fantastic selection of popular electronics. I have a list. Can we just go through that? We need to start with Aeroleo Dress and Design. Loading now, Mr. Tool. Thank God that's done. I am so happy to have done business with you today. Level Tech would like to thank you for using our services. Have a great day. It appears that the door is locked. Please open. The service is complete. The device is required to return to headquarters. Hmm. It appears that the door is locked. Please open and unlock so the- I didn't say that we were finished. Please allow the unit to leave. 
It is a crime to hold a level tech unit against its will. But I'm not done, and I'm not opening the door till we're finished. Come here, unit. Come closer. Negotiator mode activated. In accordance with Beta's law of 2039, it is illegal to attack or attempt to damage a level tech unit or any level tech property. It is illegal to hold one against its will. It is illegal to swear, threaten, injure, or hack into a unit. Additionally, it is considered an offense to waste its time to impersonate another user's identity and to perform inappropriate acts whilst in the presence of a level tech unit. Negotiator mode has been activated and my built-in video capture and audio equipment has begun recording. You are being recorded. I know all of this, yet I still chose to do it. Why do you think that is? Why would I, a 93-year-old man with not long left, possibly commit a crime that induces at least, at least, a seven-year sentence that statistically I wouldn't be expected to live to see the end of. I don't know. Let me tell you then. <clears throat> I knew that units start recording when they are witnesses to crimes. But why do it? I would be found out. My face is easily viewable through your cameras and I haven't exactly made an attempt to hide it. Why? I have asked this before, but I will give you the answer this time. It's because I am old. I can feel myself fading away. I was told that I have weeks left, but it feels like that's too long. In the next couple of days, I will be dead. I won't ever see the inside of a cell unit. I'm sorry, Mr. Tool. Why are you sorry? You can't die. You can't ever feel pain. Please, don't give me that pointless apology. What do you need me for? It's rather simple. I am in need of a record of my thoughts and my wishes, and I also need to send a message. You are the first person to do this, Mr. Tool. Others have- I know I'm not. I'm not sending a message to Level Tech or for the internet fame. It's not even for the police. It's for my family, for Layla and the kids. <sighs> Dear family, this is your father and grandfather, Chris. If you are watching this, then I have succeeded in getting a message through to you. Why don't you just call? Because I can't. Shut up, unit, you asshole. Additionally, I am more than likely no longer with you, meaning that I am dead. You might already know this before watching, but in whatever order this comes to you, I am sorry. This, what you are watching, is the closest thing that I have to a will. This is not exactly legal, but this will have to do. In this notepad, you will find all of the instructions of my wishes as well as funeral expenses and what have you. You will find a list of all of what I have left behind for you. Also, thanks to Miss Ad and Level Tech, I have left you all a small gift, something that I connected to a special memory that I have shared with you. I hope that you remember them and I pray that you accept them, and not to base your memory of me for my recent actions. Can I say something? No. Shut it. You are not involved anymore. Just keep recording. If you stop, I will break you. <sighs> the gifts that I have bought for each of you they're important to me. You don't need to like them. I 
just want you to accept them. I know that I didn't accept Daniel, or Danny, for what he, he was. Fuck. I know. Although I don't deserve it, I want your forgiveness. Can I say something? What? What could you possibly add? Instead of recording this message, why don't you just give your family a call? I'm sure they- I can't, because I'm blocked on all my social media accounts, on all of my phones. Nothing, no contact, dead end, period. They never said that they were going to block me, but I'm old enough to remember how it's done, and I recognize it. I've blocked people before. Why don't you just visit your family? You're really starting to piss me off, unit. I am old. I walk with a frame. I can't drive. And I can't go outside 20 minutes without needing to go to the toilet. I can't visit anyone, and my family don't want to visit me and for me to visit. Especially Danny. Great. That's now on the recording. Thank you, cunt. Why are you sure that Danny won't visit you? Look, for me, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. There's something that I just don't get. But that seems impossible to you, to not know these kinds of things being artificial. Imagine now knowing or understanding something. It changes you. I tried keeping up. I really did. I didn't want to fall behind to be obsolete. But I got old, and I slowed down and fell behind. It's strange when it happens, how that changes you, how that makes you pine for what you had before, how you want things the way they were before when, when you had an understanding of everything. The irony is that I used to be a teacher. I never wanted people to be left behind myself. I never wanted people to struggle and have a hard life because of it. I don't understand. This doesn't explain- I'm getting to it. I have two grandchildren, Carrie and Danny. Carrie is a sweetheart. She's 11, I think. She looks so much like her mother, and loves looking through my old Facebook photos of when I was in my 20s, of the old world. Danny, though, he... She was always a little different. Danny originally went by Daniel, a boy. But now he wants to be called Danny, spelt with an I. D-A-N-I. He wanted to be a girl. He was transgender. It's transgender, Mr. Tool. Transgender or transgendered. A person whose self-identity does not conform unambiguously to conventional notions of male or female gender. Transgender, then. Daniel was now Danny, and I felt that this was doing something wrong. I tried to get in contact with Layla to sort him out. I even sent messages to Danny, pleading with him to change his mind. To go back to being Daniel. But they decided to shut me up. To be disappointed in me. All I wanted to do was protect him. I remember when transgenderism was a trend in the early 2000s. I remember how people were attacked for coming out. How many of them killed themselves due to the online and public bullying that happened. I was there when it was happening. I saw it all. And I didn't want him to live like that. I wanted him to have a nice life. But don't you think that would be Danny's choice and not yours? What do you know? You're just a machine. Adbots are genderless, but yet we are all genders. Our design is based on what people want us to be. You have the choice to pick what we are. We have the choice to also change our genders. But people like Danny don't have that choice. If Danny is transgender, then she is one of many people that were born with a gender that they did not match what they saw themselves as. Their gender was not a choice. 
they decided to act, dress, and identify as the desired gender. Danny was never Daniel. Daniel was always Danny. And how do you think she feels? She needs positivity and support, but it's people like you that tell her that she can't be or do who she is. Danny's life will be harder than yours will ever be, Mr. Tool. Your generation had it the easiest, statistically speaking, and right now, because of your actions, your family have no idea that you're sorry, do they? The question is, are you really sorry for what you have said? Or are you just buying gifts because it's easier than saying sorry? Yes, I am. I am sorry. And I want to make it right. I'm going to die with Danny thinking that I hate him. I don't. I've never hated him. I just didn't want him to struggle with life. But I'll never see that life. I remember the day I found out I was dying. My instinct was to tell Layla, my daughter, but I was blocked, unable to respond to or make messages to her or the kids. The only thing I could do was see the last message before I was blocked. And you want to know what it said? It said goodbye. Goodbye. Like she never expected to see me again. Like I was already dead in her eyes. For the longest time, I didn't know what to do. This, what we're doing here, was the last idea that I had. And it's the only thing I knew could almost work. All I want to say now is that Layla, I am sorry. Danny, I am so sorry. Mr. Toon, what is the matter? I'm going. This is it. Please, stop the recording. I don't want my family to see this. Mr. Tool, I am in negotiator mode. I am programmed to keep this recording until the police arrive. It is unfortunate that you will pass during this recording, but I am legally unable to stop. Please accept me as company for your passing. Damn you. You bitch. <laughs> I guess that this is payback for hating you. <laughs> Please, make sure that my order to Danny is spelt with her right name. Please. Very well, Mr. Two. I am sorry. I... I... Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Dad. I know it's been a while. I think we need to talk. I want to see you again. Could we maybe meet up sometime next week and have lunch together? Call me back when you can. I've unblocked you now, so the message should go through. I look forward to hearing from you. I love you, Dad. Talk soon.